Hello again, me and my mate Neil are going to share with you again what we bought at a car boot sale last weekend. Okay? Um, yes. I'm going to start with the CD, alright? Nice and easy. Ease myself into uh, talk about this. Okay. So, okay, uh, Jean, Jean Michel Jarre, West German print. Love him. Um, I, I had a hunch that this was worth something, so it's a bit of a. It's, it's a bit of a mad scrum when they put the CDs out, isn't it? Always. Oh, da, da, da. Got any CDs, DVDs, gold, silver, jewellery, mobile phones. And one of them is CDs and records and LPs, etc. However, um, I managed to get in there and, uh, and grab this. And uh, yeah, I paid, I paid a pound, which was um, about par for the course at the beginning of the day. Um, maybe 50p later, but I thought it was worth a punt for a pound. And uh, five pound on eBay, uh, oh. five pound on Amazon, so I ought to be able to make a tidy sum on that. So, yeah? Sounds good. Yeah, oh, nice, literally. easy money, easy money. Right, next thing, okay. Right, let me tell you about, <laughs> what, <I laughs> let me tell you about these. these. Right, these are really, really heavy, okay? You've nicked these um, off a building site, haven't you? Oops. <laughs> Okay, uh, you hold one and I'll hold the other. Okay, I have, I have no idea about these, um, but I, I bought them off a, I bought them off a chap with a horse box, and a lot of this stuff came from the Chatsworth estate. Um, I've been there. Have you? I've been yeah? to Chatsworth. It's a huge. Oh, okay. So I don't know about these bookends, but I thought it'd be worth a punt. Uh, paying, I paid two pound for these, and I'm going to sort of just going to bide my time, and uh, I reckon I'm going to make a bit on these, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to sell them on a car boot well, or maybe an auction. I don't not, know. You can certainly uh, use them for yeah, weeks, you? yeah, nice couple of nice bookends. Or if uh, if I can't sell them, then I might keep them myself because I quite like them. Or, or another suggestion is you bought them to the wall somehow, yeah, and you can make a nice shelf. <laughs> so, just another option there for you. Yeah. Uh, that's a good idea, actually. Uh, okay, next one. Uh, what I say? World War II binoculars. Them? Not the original. Oops. Let me let me put it up here. Um, not the original case, but let me show you these. Ah. Nice leather case. Not the original. And uh, these are Taylor Taylor Hobson. I don't know whether you can see that. Uh, yeah, Taylor Hobson, 1941, uh, war issue, and um, there's a slight, a slight problem with a couple of grub screws on on the one of the eyepieces, but um, they work, they're fine. So nice, a nice little find. I paid. Um, we haggled, and I ended up buying them for six pounds um, on eBay right now. Minimum of 20, maximum of 60. So I'm I just think curious, that was a, you, you said they're war grade. Does that mean enemy people turn up in red when you look through them? Or? No, no, no. What it means is, can you see, can you see the, the, the military marking? I'm trying to get the... So that means they've been made to a particular standard. A particular no, there's, there's, an art, there's, a, there's a military stamp. Yeah. Um, which is three points. You know, the, you know the three, you know the funny arrow on uh, prison clothing that, mm. that, that you see in films. In films. The caricatured, uh, typical prison lag, and they've got those arrows all over, the, over it, or a striper thing, but sometimes the arrows. It's the same arrow on here. Okay. And that's how you can tell, and they've got the date, 1941. Um, very nice pair of prismatic binoculars. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Six quick was a lot, but very um, dark. There we go, right. Okay, Blum, you have been busy. Let me, just, let me just get this out of my yeah. Tesco bag. Did you actually leave anything for any other people? <laughs> oh, there was, there was uh, this particular car boot was, was not frequented by many people, so maybe Do you decide lucky. to buy the entire lot? Okay, um, a little bit of um, embroidery here. Um, you, you don't get it's actually, embroidery type, mate. No, but I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, Buying to sell, aren't I? Uh, on most things, but it's this is this is a El Cheapo frame, 
It says Hobbycraft, Hobbycraft £3.49. Reduced from 6 99 or whatever. Okay, so it's a cheap, it's a cheap frame. But what they've put in here is amazing. I really like that. I think that will go well, maybe a different frame, but I, I quite like that. So how much did I pay for it? Yeah. Fif no, 20p. 20p. 20p, mm. that's gotta be that's gotta be a it's gonna uh, look 20p good, uh, well well spent. Next I to your manly football collection. No. <laughs> no, this isn't for me, Lee. This isn't for me, this is to sell on. I'm trying to give and a broader the different... appeal to men out there as well. <laughs> so next to your monster truck, maybe, you know, nice little thing like this. It'd be great. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, we'll have to agree to disagree there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, I thought that was a nice piece. Yeah, so, looks um, nice. How are we doing for time? Uh, we're all right for time. Good, good, um, good. I might have made a mistake on this. What? Uh, oh, I remember this. Okay, tell me what, what you think one of these is. It's to put over the top of a candle? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Just doing issues the flame. Do you know, I don't, I don't know how old this is. It doesn't look, it doesn't look uh, particularly old, um, but you never know. Uh, I paid 50p for this, and I thought, hmm, I'll have that. And at the worst, if the worst comes to the worst, uh, I can just put it on a stall and uh, double my money. I'm sure I can sell that for a pound. And the expression is he's too posh to blow, so he has to have one of these. What know. do you mean too posh to blow? What does it's that mean? It's an expression that you're too, uh, too high class to just... Poof, yeah? Yeah, onto a candle, yeah. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Yeah, yeah, go Google it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, cool, cool. Um, Okay, where are we now? Right. Oh, literature. Okay. I love my books. I really do. I thought that this was, uh, I thought this was a real bargain and I'd make a lot of money. I don't think I'm going to make a lot of money after, after checking, but um, this is, this is The Inland Waterways of England by L.T.C. Rolt, who was a pioneer of the, uh, the recording of the, the of the history of uh, waterways and he was an activist in trying to get them to uh, restore rest or to, to maintain the, uh, the the canals in good order when they were when when they were being closed and bridges were being built over them etc um, so look here we go really nice really nice picture it's uh, it's a lovely book minus its dust cover Mm. And I and it's even got at the back a fold a fold out a fold out map. Um, I paid fifty p for this, bargain, and uh, I reckon that I'm going to get maybe three or four pounds on eBay. That's what I reckon. Okay. Uh, plus the postage, so I'll, I'll probably end up with uh, a couple of quid. Mm. Okay, it's not a lot of money. I might get more. You never know, but. Uh, if I can't get a couple of quid for this, then I can easily sell it for a pound or so. Back on the uh, carpet. Back on the carpet. Absolutely. Yeah. Let someone else have a go. Okay. Um, right. I think. Uh, oops. I shouldn't Is clap like that because I know it, it, it's loud on there. Um, Is it time for us to go? Yeah, it's time for us to uh, end this one and do another one later on. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Appreciate that. Bye bye.